let's see what happens when the moon hits the Earth. Oh my god! I have killed everyone already and we're a minute into the video! Can't get you out of my... Hello everybody, to Earth, the final frontier. Oh wait, that's the other way around. Hello everybody, to space, the final frontier. Today we're playing some Universe Sandbox 2. Now this is a really cool game, I played the first one for a little bit. It's not really so much a game as it is just a sandbox, well, I mean the title of the fucking game would explain it to you guys, so I don't know why I'm explaining it. But yes, it is a Universe Sandbox. You can put anything you want into space and see what happens when you do so. So if you want, for example, Uranus to crash into Earth, you can do that. You can do that in Universe Sandbox, and it is a realistic physics simulator. So we're gonna have some fun today with this and check out some of the scenarios and just see how cool this damn game is. It was released, uh, I think, yesterday or the day before on Steam, so if you do want to pick it up for yourself, link will be in the description of this video. So to kind of showcase what this has to offer, um, I st I'm still learning as we go here, but you can like force things, kind of push them around, that's not going to do too much. Um, pulse, again, I don't even know what half of these things do. Fireworks, I mean we can put some fireworks on it if we want. Where, where are the fireworks? There they are! Okay, I don't know, whoa! What? Whoa! What the hell's going- I don't even know what's going on anymore, I, I pretty much killed Earth. You can also throw material at it, as you can see I'm doing. Uh, I don't think it's like exploding the lands. What the fuck? What did I do to Earth? I'm sorry. This is not the Earth that I know. Oh, look at all the material floating around it though. So if I kind of shoot it around, the gravity of Earth is going to pull it. Look, oh my god, this is so cool. I love it. Okay, um, we also have launch. What is launch? Oh. You can launch things at it. Alright, let's see what happens when the moon hits the Earth. Oh my god! I have killed everyone already and we're a minute into the video! How cool is that? Okay, so yeah, let's just see, uh, did I change the trajectory of it? Yes, I did. Oh, we, we are in the middle of fucking nowhere now. Um, okay, well, let's go back to the sun and see what else we can do here. I just shot something at the sun. There's something wrong with Earth. What did I do? Oh, wait, what is that? Oh, that's all the freaking shit that I threw at it. Okay. So Earth's alright. It's just kind of a sun now. That's all. I wonder what happens when I launch the sun at the sun. Let's find out. Oh, God. Okay. Well, I pretty much ruined the universe now. Let's just uh, speed this up a little bit here. You have to be very careful with this because it's extremely delicate. Uh, we're going hours a second right now. You can go days a second. You oh, it's lagging. Oh, I am lagging everything. Oh, oh, we missed it. How the fuck did we miss it? Let's let's just try that again. You know, let's just shoot a couple at it. There we go. No big deal. Just playing around with suns. Oh god, the gravitational pull. <laughs> oh, and let's see what happens to the actual orbits now. Um, I'm sorry about the lag. I didn't expect it to lag this bad. All right, let's up this to years a second. And there we go, we should, actually, we, we just gotta change this number here. Again, I'm learning as I go here. There we go, this is years a second. It's actually not lagging my system, so this is just the limitations of, I'm assuming, the actual game. But you can see the trails that these suns have made, and, uh, well, we are pretty much dead right now already. So there's some moons out here, Saturn seems to be totally screwed, Mars doesn't even have a orbit anymore, a sun's going this way, Jupiter hasn't really moved much. Let's, uh, why, why is it going slow again? I want it to go faster. Okay, so now that I ruined our universe, let's see what else this game has. There's a lot of scenarios here, you can of course make your own scenarios as well if you are patient. Uh, I'm going to open some and see what happens here. So we got, as you can see, a bunch of them here we can check out. Um, there should be some fun ones in here. Let's see what we can find. Galaxy Collision High Resolution. I've always wanted to see what happens here. So we're going at many years a second. Oh, look at it. It's sucking the little one in and they're combining into one. Oh my god, this is so cool! I love it! Haha! <laughs> okay, I'm getting a little too excited about this. Uh, I just want to see what happens after, you know, the initial crash phase. Does it, is it just one big galaxy, or does it explode them both? Judging by what's going on right now, I think it just explodes them both into nothingness. 
Uh, can we speed this up a bit? I'm still getting used to this whole years a second thing. Yeah, okay. Um, they're still expanding outward. There's no real galaxy anymore. It's just a bunch of space dust now. All we are is dust in the wind. Uh, I guess technically that wouldn't really work here because there's no wind in space. Bombardment of the moon. Or sorry, bombardment of moon. Let's see what happens here. I Oh, okay, so things are going to start hitting it. And that's how they get craters. Watch, here we go. Bam! All right, so that should ho hopefully have a crater now. I don't know how realistic this is. Um, I don't think it's... Oh, yeah, it is having craters. Holy shit, relax. It's just a moon. Oh, my God. Okay, clearly... This is much more bombardment than I expected. Look at Earth just watching and laughing at us. This is so fucking cool. This game is like eye candy to me. I just love anything regarding space, and this is exactly what I wanted. Now, I'm curious, these little par pit particles, now, do they gravitate towards the moon? Let's speed up time here. Oh, yeah, there we go. And you can see some of them are coming back because of the gravitational pull of the moon. The moon is really heated now. I guess if you hit it that many times... Uh, oh, wow, I just saw the... the and the Earth go by. So are we actually rotating the Earth right now? Yes, we are. Okay, this is so cool. Look at our poor moon, though. Okay, so clearly the moon cannot take that much damage. Okay, I'm gonna restart this one because it's really actually quite interesting. This is climate simulation, you know, the seasons of the Earth. So it's gonna go pretty quick here, but you can see the snow, it's going backwards, it's turning into summer. There we go, and we're coming back around. And here comes winter once again. All that is one year really quickly. That is so cool to see though. Look at all look at the snow going back and forth. I love this. Okay, so we got supernova close up in real time. So we get to see how quickly these things explode. If you don't know what supernova is, it's a collapsing star. So, here we go. This is the collapsed star. It should probably explode soon, I'm going to assume. Is it already exploding? Kind of. Okay. Cool. So yeah, this is what happens when a star collapses in on itself. Basically, it explodes outwards, and let's go way out here and see how big this thing gets. So we're probably light years away right now. I have no idea. Uh, we're going to speed up time, though, and see what happens. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's coming. It's there. Oh, yes, and if we go inside here, here is the reminiscent of that star. So here is a supernova in the galaxy. I actually paused it right now just so we can appreciate the size for scale. Galaxies are obviously huge, but still, this explosion, let's see, as compared to the galaxy when it fully ignites. Look at the size of that! Of course, there's a black hole in the middle. Uh, that is just one sun exploding, and the galaxy lives on. No big deal. It's crazy to think all of those little specks moving around are suns. And they're all heading towards that black hole. Can we actually see what the black hole looks like? I'm curious. Now, I guess we can't click it. Oh, wait. I've, I've hit something. We have hit the black hole. It's probably just going to be black. Um, that seems to be as far as I can go in, unfortunately. Okay, this is so damn cool. I... Okay, this is so damn cool. This is a scale tour, just to get a size reference of how super massive some things can be in this universe. This is, of course, Mars. Now, we're going to go to Earth... Let's zoom out a bit here. There is Saturn. Next in the line is Jupiter. And there is Proxima Centauri. I'm sure I'm sure that's a certain star. There's our sun. So yeah, you can see there that's where we started and we're already this big. This is Sirius. Let's keep going here. Oh, we're getting really big now. Art, I can't even say that. Articreus. Uh we 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 got some white dwarfs here. Rigel and now we're getting seriously big. Beltagis and VY Canis Majoris. I'm assuming this is one of the bigger stars that we know of. Is there anything else? No, but you get the idea. Like, look how fucking big this is as compared to our little sun, which is somewhere over here. This is serious. This isn't even our sun yet. There's our sun right there, I think. Yep. Wow. Look at that size difference. And here is Games of Thrones universe. We have, of course, Westeros over here, and I guess it's around two binary suns. I didn't actually even know that. I don't remember any of the lore inside the TV show. Anyways, let's start it up here and see how the Game of Thrones orbit is. It seems to be extremely confusing. I don't know how accurate this is, but um, maybe that's why winter is coming. It's just got such a crazy orbit um, that after a while here, it's going to have a very long winter. Let's keep going here. Nope, it just seems to keep going. 
and going and going around. So I don't really know the meaning behind this, but I appreciate that they added Games of Thrones to this. So here we have the brightest 50 stars in the known galaxy. You can actually, well, what I really like is you can click these and get information on each one. So this one is the size of 11.4 suns, its radius, we have its temperature as well, and its velocity. So we know a lot about these things. Uh, this is 6.2 suns, so I guess it's not the size that matters. I mean, this one's 1.95 suns, but it's a white dwarf, so it's probably, as compared to other ones, extremely hot. So we got... 8,916K, I don't even know what K is referring to, as compared to 5,000, so yeah, it's just a really hot sun. Uh, we got some other ones here, 8.4, 11.4, so there's a big one. I mean, it's just cool to see all the data in this game. If you are into the universe, this game really has a lot of information for you. And here is all the types of suns in the known universes. We start off with the white dwarfs over here, and then we go, I don't even know what the orange ones are called, but then, of course, we go to the blue giants in the back. <laughs> Look at the light that thing is putting off. This is just so cool to see. And this game runs actually extremely well for how complex it is. And here is our wonderful Milky Way. Now, I do want to throw something at it. I'm thinking probably the best thing is a black hole, but we got a bunch of things here. You can throw a whole galaxy at it if I want. Uh, certain objects, like a basketball, of all things, um, and yeah, you can just throw a bunch of things at it. We're gonna try a black hole, though. Let's see what happens when a black hole goes through the Milky Way. So let's throw Sagittarius A into it. It is a known black hole, I'm assuming. Um, so yeah, we just threw it at it. I don't know what's going to happen. I can't see it. It's a black hole. So I guess we just wait. Let's bump up the time here, see what happens. There we go. Oh, yes, it's sucking it in. Oh, my God. All right, spin, 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 spin. Oh, there it... Okay, that is not even, like, that doesn't even look like the Milky Way anymore. Uh, let's throw a few more at it and see what happens here. There you go. All the black holes. All of them. Oh, shit, this is so cool. And all those we've seen that have been thrown at it, I mean, look at this. I'm throwing more at it, lots of them, and it is just a war zone right here for this galaxy. All right, let's slow it down um, if I can. There we go. Let's just see the middle here. Look at all that heat. The middle is now yellow instead of blue just because of all the heat it has resonated from it spinning in on itself. I expected it to kind of tear it apart, though. I'm actually surprised it didn't. It kind of just shoots the black hole through it and then keeps going. So yeah, guys, this is pretty much the ultimate game if you are into physics-based sandboxes. You can throw whatever you th can think of into the universe and see what happens when you do it. Uh, let me know what you think of this. Do you want to see some... ...do a couple more episodes if you guys like it. Thanks once again for watching and liking, and thanks for your support, guys. I'll see you in the next one.